I, I wanted to ask you a question about standards, actually. Can, can an engineer lead on, lean on standards um, as they're developing things, or what, how, what is the role of standards in, in this? Right. Um, I think there's a tendency to think of standards as the enemy, right? There's a, a standard FCC limit, and if you don't meet it, bad things happen, right? Like, people only run into standards when something goes wrong and they fail the test. Uh, so they tend to be like, God, don't talk to me about standards. <laughs> like, But... Um, in addition to the kind of very strict rule-based standards that you'll see from, again, FCC, um, there's a EU standards that are like the strictest ones that automotive meets. Um, but there are a lot that are actually best practices or recommended practices. Right. There's also, in a lot of standards, um, and some that are publicly available. So all the NASA and military standards are publicly available. Well, I mean, aside from the ones that are classified, but the vast majority are, <laughs> are uh, publicly available. Um, those have appendices in them that include an like decades worth of lessons learned of like, when you're doing this kind of testing, here's how you can speed it up, or here's some of the pitfalls, or here's how you should select your antennas to be the most efficient. Um, there's a uh, rec I, I was on a standards committee for ANSI C63.16, which is recommended practice for people who have doing ESD testing. So there's, there's basically like one major test method, IEC 61000-4-2, and then a bunch of other standards that kind of were like, yeah, do it that way. Um, and this recommended practice standard, it's like, again, when you're reading through that standard and it seems kind of opaque and it seems... Uh, confusing. You know, there are other documents out there that can um, give you really practical advice on how to implement these different things. So, I, I, again, I'm deeply passionate about EMC standards. I, I sit on a lot of the committees. I'm currently the vice president of standards for the IEEE EMC Society. Um, there's so much information in there. The working groups like deeply care about helping people do this right. Are we all the best writers? in the world, you know, can we, we write the clearest standards document that everybody will just look at and go, why, yes, that all makes sense now. Okay, that's, I would love to live in that world. That's not the world we live in. Um, but there is more useful information out there um, that can be very helpful um, as you're kind of working through uh, the standards that apply to you in your industry. Um, the other thing I'd say is, uh, you know, if standards are of interest to you or you're looking for other places to look, um, certainly get in touch. Um, Absolutely. And, and the other thing that I'm very passionate about is getting more people involved in the working groups. Uh